Hello, it's Spence, the evil genius, with your WordPress tip of the day. Guys, I've got a resource here today that you're going to want to add to your freelance web designer toolkit. It's called Clean Talk, and it's at cleantalk.org. And basically, it allows you a really quick way to see if a particular email has been blacklisted. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, today I got an email on my client account. It's a WHMCS account. So I normally see orders come in from new clients, but something unusual struck my eye, and that was that there wasn't an order attached. It was just that somebody had randomly registered. Now, that just doesn't happen. So just out of curiosity, I grabbed the email of this person, and I use person uh, with air quotes because I don't really know if it is a real person. It could be somebody who's just set up this email account on an automated system. And I went over to cleantalk.org and popped it into the blacklist checker here. And sure enough, this email has 106 websites. Now, what this tells me is that there is no way this person is legit, right? So what did I immediately do? I immediately banned the IP address that they had used to register for my WHMCS system. And I also made sure to delete the account and some other stuff. So there's no point in trying to address the person or email to them because they're probably not even real. It's probably just set up automatically. But you can see right away, they're banging away at WordPress and Drupal and vBulletin and all kinds of stuff. And you're actually getting a quick little sort of portal view into what goes on in the world of little naughty script kitties. They just set up automated processes and they just go around trying to bang away at everybody's door to get in. Fortunately, this service allows you to see any email that might be suspicious and then go ahead and act accordingly. Hopefully this is a resource that you're not going to have to use too often, but if you do, it's good to know it's here. This is Spence, the evil genius, and I'll see you next time.